Disaster man. What's going on? In Adelaide? Yeah. Love in Adelaide. So now look, uh, as someone who is one of the founding members of Downside, I guess tell us basically how you guys formed Downside. Yeah, it's really it's really interesting. So with it's Scotty uh, and he used to be Dynamites, but he just called himself Shabazz now. So Optimus and Shabazz went to Craigie High and they kind of grew up together in the high school and did they did the hip hop thing, run around, you know, graffiti rats, all that, you know, that hip hop shit. <laughs> and um I actually I was kind of like really into kind of just I was like, man, I want to make beats. I want to make beats. So trying to make beats and I was like coming out of high school and stuff. And then I was like, oh, you know, what's the next step to kind of making beats and stuff, you know, maybe do the recording engineering thing because I was kind of really interested in that. So I went to TAFE and then I met Optimus because he went to TAFE as well. And then like we were like, hey, man, and he goes, oh, yeah, man, I'm just doing my thing. Got this tape and that – Scotty and Shabazz were actually kind of downside and they did a cassette called Behind the Bucket. So there's a really rare first downside release that's on cassette um, and he showed me that and I actually never heard Australian hip hop before. So what that, year was that? I think that was 96. No, 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 not 96. Sorry, wrong. Um, 90, 98, 98. So this is downside before you were a part yeah. of downside. So they they did that ninety seven, pretty sure it was ninety seven, and then ninety eight I joined. Well, I met Scotty and he, uh, like I just put it. He goes, listen to this. This is what we do, and I was just like, sick. This is this is the shit. This is this is what I want to do. And I was kind of rhyming back then, but not really like the full like Australian style. And then um. Yeah, they were like, oh, and then the whole thing was like the getting back to this freestyle thing. Like, that's how I kind of developed my own voice. Mm. It was freestyling with them because we all used to just freestyle in the car doing the four bar blues thing. Yeah, yeah man, that's that like back in the day shit. Yeah, for, for real, for real. So yeah, that's and then after that, that like when hung out in this place called Yuri Yarkin, which is an Aboriginal theatre. But the dude there, the um, director at the time, is like, yeah, we've got all this music gear. I think they had an EMU sampler keyboard there. I can't remember exactly what they had there. And there was an ADAP machine that we recorded on and stuff like that. No, no computers at the time. So, yeah, that was – that's how it formed and that's how we did. The first release that you guys did as Downside, because you mentioned that that release before in 97, that wasn't actually titled as Downside. Um, I think it was because, yeah, Scotty and Shabazz were still, they, they were the actual original core guys. Then I came along and then, then we decided to go bang, you know, like, let's just keep, yeah. And then, so when you joined the group, what was the first release that you guys? So Eponymous. tell us a bit about that. Like what year was that? I think that was 2000. If I remember correctly. So that was before Culture Kings won? Yes. Um, so we did that and then um, that was basically an indie thing. I can't remember who destroyed it so far far back now. But um, yeah, yeah, that was basically, I got together with it. Um, so after that, like met with Scotty and he's like, yeah, I showed him some beats that I made. He's like, oh, sick, sick. Come, let's let's do this thing in Yuri Yark and... So then we just basically made a bunch of tunes and that was Epinonymous. And then at the time of that particular album, we were all going to, um, in during making that, we would go to High Park on a Monday, which is a, like a very, it was a foundation for Perth hip -hop, the Perth hip hop scene. Um, big shout outs to Nate Dog for running that and starting that. And that actually started off as punk metal night and then these djs the dude started djing and he was also in a, to hip-hop and started to spinning and then we came down and it was like i don't know like it was just all this it was like an under it was more of an underground night so all the underground genres are just rock up on a monday night 
that there was like there was rockabillies getting on the mic and freestyling. It was fucking sick. It was fucking <laughs> sick, man. Like all different different types of dudes. Like and then all the because you know like like writers and that like you know sure yeah it's the hip hop thing but there was skater punk dudes and shit that were mm. gra- graphing. There was just metal dudes who were gra- like all di- different types. And all different genres. B boys rock up. This night was like, like to put it like the start of the night. Everyone's rocking, fucking getting the, you know, like we all got the dole check, fucking smashing like five dollar jugs, <laughs> getting smashed. DJs basically, cut session, beat juggling, dudes getting on the mic, B boys doing the circle, and then at the end of it, everyone's just fucking destroying the like her. This fucking killer. It's and this, like, this is what's it called? This was Monday Night High Park. This was the foundation, basically, of the Perth hip hop scene that I know, that I kind of grew up with. There was, there was guys actually freestyling and rapping before us, um, that we give ode to as well, like um, yeah, Skank One and High Five and that. And these these guys kind of, those were the guys that we looked up to pretty much that were doing the Australian thing as well. Mm. Never released anything. But probably did some tapes and stuff. But yeah, they were they were the guys that were like, "Oh, okay, yeah, we we respect you. That's the thing we do." And it's, yeah, that's yeah, it's, nice. it's so dope, man. It goes back a long way. So how how long are we talking? I reckon we'll skank in that were the nineties, pretty much. The, even the early nineties, because they're like they're they're into their, you know, forty forty five age group. Mm. We're we're starting to kick onto the forties. But yeah, they were like this that that couple of years even older than us. And then so that club night though was happening around what year? That was that was basically so ninety late nineties. Mm. It started and it went basically for a solid two years every Monday night. It was a weekly thing. That's crazy. Which I think it started in ninety eight. I'm pretty sure it started in ninety because I remember when I met there and it was like, yeah, come Monday night. I was like, yeah, sick. And then, yeah, it was sick. So obviously you were going there and then... Because Epinonymous, um, that, cause, because Hunter, me and Hunter were on it, and that, um, there's like that track that's on there, and then there's a, there's a syllabolic track on there, and that's how SBX started. Like, Because um, we all went to Monday night and a few other guys came down and then it was like, crew get out and freestyle. Oh, what's sick, man? Oh, do you know? Oh, graphic. Oh, yeah, sick. Tomahawk. Oh, mortar. Like, and... Those guys, Matt, Matty B, like, um, always microphone courageous. Yeah, man. Shit. So that like, and it was weird because like, at the time, like, it's funny like Scotty and Shabazz are telling us stories about like you know when they're in high school like all the surfies were giving him shit. Matty B was a surfer, and when he dropped his shit, like all the surfer crew were just like fucking sick Australian hip hop. So oh he wow. Cracked he fucking cracked that because he was a surfer. He cracked, like, spread the Australian hip hop thing to all the surfy crew. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. That's ill. Yeah, man. So then, like, it, it kind of spread our thing. And then we, kind of jumping ahead, like, we started doing, like, um, all these kind of local, like, festivals in WA, like, and it's, like, all these surf, surf, um, surfing comps and shit. So we're doing hip hop shows at surfing comps. So these same guys that were dissing it just started getting into it. The, the, the lesson. Oh, yeah. 